guys, these new non claw settings that I found are literally insane. You guys read the title. In today's video, I'm literally going to be providing the best non claw settings in the entirety of Fortnite. These settings work on Xbox, PS4, and Nintendo Switch. If you name the console, it will work on it. Every single console available, guys. I promise you these settings are insane. Oh, and by the way, guys, please comment down below your settings that you are currently using. If you think you've got really good aim with your settings, comment the settings down below if they're not from me. If they're your own settings or another YouTuber settings, comment them down below because in the following videos, I'm going to be using some of your guys' settings. So if you want to be featured within that video, comment your settings down below. All right, guys, enough chitter chatter. I know you guys want to get into the video. Let's start. Make sure to watch to the end so you don't miss out on anything. Psst. Like the video right now if you brushed your teeth this morning. Like, bro, if you're not liking the video right now, you're literally gross. The very best settings for non-claw players, guys. So easy, guys. All right, mass settings. Oh, what my gosh. Okay, guys, I'm here to show you the non-claw aimbot settings that are absolutely insane that I've been waiting to show you all the video. So, so I'm going to try and make this as uncut as possible and please copy down the settings alongside with me. Okay, so as I'm going through the settings, please copy them down at the same time. Okay, so let's begin. Go to your settings per usual. Uh, we're going to skip the video tag because I know a lot of people are playing console that don't, don't have all of these options. Uh, briefly, um, there's no colorblind options. As you guys can see, we just want standard colorblind mode and um, we want uh, B sync is off for PC players. We want motion blurs off for all players. But your FPS is on for all players. And yeah, these are my graphics. Okay, now to the actual universal settings. Okay, so these are the games. So. Once the sprint is off, auto open doors is on, man's activation is all jump, hold to swap pickup is on, toggle targeting is off, mark danger when targeting is on, auto pickup weapons is off. Uh, we want to go to our weapon configuration. We want the slot one as an assault rifle, slot two as a shotgun, slot three as the SMG, slot four as the consumable item, and slot five as the sniper slash bow. We want auto slot we want auto sort of computables to the right as on. Uh, building on the reset building choice is on disable pre-edit option as on turbo building as on confirm edit and release as on 
when invert view as off this is the extra game options now by the way when the invert view as off invert airborne controls as on turbo deleting creative mode as on nvidia highlights as on peripheral lighting as on tap to search as interact as on report performance stats as disabled and run all of the record replays as off once again guys i'm gonna say again replays all as off we can go to the game ui which is the hud skill i have my hud skill at 95 then there's absolutely everything on except for the creative on that uh you can have this hard scale anywhere between like 70 and 100 percent i wouldn't go any higher than 100 and i personally wouldn't go any lower than 70 i have mine at about 95 because i like it hard. okay moving over to touch motion we're gonna skip that mouse keyboard obviously that. okay guys moving over to the options that i know you guys want the most the controller option okay so controller auto run we want is off build immediately build a pro as on run the slide hold time as 0 0.115 Reset camera axis as pitch. Reset camera time as 0 0.1. Vibration, we want that as off. Our sensitivity, um, we want to actually, this is a very crucial part of the video right now, guys. Okay, so usually you're gonna have use advanced options as on. I don't want you to right. Go to use advanced options and turn it as off. Obviously having it on gives you all of those extra sensitivity options that they've implemented into the game over time. But right now you want to use advanced options as off. Once that's off, um, this look sensitivity and aim sensitivity will be ungrayed out and it will go back to normal. I want you to put the look sensitivity at 8. I want the aim sensitivity at 6. Build mode sensitivity multiplier at 2.1. Edit mode sensitivity multiplier at 2. Moving down to the controller dead zones. We want the left stick at 5 and the right stick at dead zone at 6. Uh, you can have the right stick dead zone anywhere between 5 and 10%. I wouldn't go any higher than 10%. Obviously, you can't go lower than 5. So I'd go for about you know 6, 7 or so. Somewhere within that range wherever you want wherever you feel comfortable uh, enable for control you run is on one percent one percent on the max and both dead zone uh, accelerate with the thumbstick and steer tank with the camera we have that as on i don't know why i have that on. I don't know. but definitely accelerate with thumbstick audio option is not very important guys but you can copy them if you want i have the, my main um audio at 80 percent music at zero sound effects at 100 percent dialogue at zero percent voice chat at 100 percent cinematics at zero and picture in picture at 50 then guys sound quality i have as high free headphones as off background audio as notification only view the <laughs> visualize sound effects as off audio output device as obviously i have it out voice chat nobody the, these are all i change them all the time guys so but one last thing as i said every single person video i do have your license options as mute others if you're trying to be a streamer if you're trying to be a youtuber have it as mute others um basically it, it tells you what it does here i'm not going to explain it again for the millionth time but i'd have it as mute others I would do. moving over to the controller binds, which are very, very important. I know you guys, most of you guys are here for these binds. So, LT as aim down sights, LB as previous weapon, up on the D-pad as inventory, left on the D-pad as place marker, right on the D-pad as map, right on the D-pad as emote. We want the left uh, analog stick as edit. We want the two windows button, as you guys can see what I've selected there. If you are on PlayStation 4, I use the big touchpad. So, um, yep, that touchpad for the pickaxe. RT for the attack, RB to the next weapon, Y for unbound, extra reload, T for switch mode, and A for crouch. And um, these are the binds for PlayStation 4 controller. So it's the exact same way. So you know where the triangle is, it'll be where the binds. The exact same layout. It's just, you know, slightly different controller layout, I think, <laughs> going on here. But yeah, so um, yeah, that's the thing. These are the controllers. So um, edit controls, we want. L2 is confirm, R2 is select, L1 is unbound, and R1 as reset. Uh, this is what it looks like for the Xbox controller players out there. Um, and obviously for the Nintendo Switch players, it's gonna be the exact same thing. It's just obviously it's not gonna be R2, it's gonna be RZ or whatever it is, which I already got. Um, up on the D-pad as inventory, left as unbound, right on the D-pad as map, down on the D-pad as emotes, left stick unbound in the edit controls. Uh, once again, the same uh, control for toggle pickaxe. Excuse me. Um, R2 is select. R1 is reset, as I already said. If you want a triangle, square, and circles unbound, that would be Y, X, and B for you controller players. That you play Xbox, sorry. Um, X or A as crouch, slash slice, slash gyro modifier. And right stick as jump, guys. So they are the best non claw controller settings for you guys to use in fortnite battle royale season three if this video did go on to help you um that is absolutely amazing but the video is not over just yet guys okay we're gonna get back into some gameplay in just a second guys but if this did go on to help you or you know you are gonna test these settings out and even if they're not gonna help you 
they don't help you please subscribe and turn the notification bell on because i'm always uploading new aimbot settings videos to my channel they're always different settings they're always different tricks and tips um so yeah guys make sure you subscribe because you will benefit from subscribing to the channel i promise you that i'll see you guys in the next one let's get right into the game